Well, guys, the game crashed again, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what's going on. I actually, I actually, it, it crashed another time. And it was at the exact same point. It was at the in the alleyway where now Jenny's actually waiting. So I don't know if that area is, is bugged or something. Um, I, I wanted to to get the vault. Um, ow. I wanted to get the vault that I remember was near the police station. Uh, if the game won't let me, then fuck it. I won't go there. Guess I kind of have to like save between uh. Well, basically, that's the only point where it, it, uh, it crashed the whole time. It crashed three times now, and it's all at that same alleyway. So, that alleyway, that's dangerous now or something. I don't know. It never crashed before. The sewers, huh? I, I never checked the other alleyway. I uh, I realized. Yoink. I remember you. I remember you. Sneaky little devil. Hack attempt one. Look at that. Now. We... Very nice. Access granted. What is that? Bracelet. What is what? Huh? Okay. Megan Reed. It's hard to fathom. It's almost sometimes when I made the breakthrough in my research a couple years ago, I never thought I would get this big. I thought it was an anomaly at first, but it's become the genetics what universal assemblers are into nanotechnology. We're talking about holy grill or DNA here. How is this Gregor Mendel big? The thing is, after buried the truth, not the discovery, but how I reached the results, it's become harder lately. I betrayed someone, someone I respected for the sake of my research. I wish I had a chance to fix it, but it's got bigger than me, bigger than Seraph. If it ever come to light, Seraph Industries could be ruined. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm tired. I think I'll just turn it off. I wonder if I now talk to the mother. She's like, Hey, you have that bracelet. La, 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 la. I don't know if she will do that. We can just check the apartment. I can check my email, actually. And then we'll go to, uh, to see uh, David himself and go to China. Kinda, I'm looking forward to China. I know that a lot of people like that area the most. I think that the game consists of three main hub areas, and I keep forgetting what the third one is. I knew that the first one was Detroit. The second one was China, which I also knew, but there's a third one, I think. God knows what that one is, though. Welcome to the Detroit Thank you, Adam. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Not too sure what the bracelet does, but okay. Hey! Oh, this is that airlock uh, thingy. Open. Oh, hello, hello. I could have just a long time ago, by the way. Peaceful solution to this Was this dispute, and I unequivocally uh, deplore the methods used by these hostage takers. I don't have a pistol at the moment, though. Shit. 
Well. Does it already have armor piercing? <laughs> I forgot. Mm. There you go. I now could carry a piss. There we go. I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David. Well, uh, I'm thinking maybe I should actually uh, upgrade. I don't have practice points anymore, do I? My inventory. Oh my god, look at that. That looks sexy. United in their cause to find no a way. common ground. Um Should three is beer. Why not? Pass, I'm drinking beer. One can Don't know what that does. Not help but wonder if millionaire you Darrow. Fuck I'm fucking up. And whose innovations first propelled augmentation technology to the forefront. That looks cool. So far, refused our repeated requests. But I came here to check my email. And I have no new email. I have no friends. <laughs> Re establishing security system. See you soon. Yeah, sorry about that. Main quest people. However, I should not go through the LOA, so the hell with that. Yeah, that that sign just winged at me. I forgot the rule, by the way, about the dancing thing. Rules, of course, if I use the subway station, I had to dance the guy, so I'm gonna do that now. Alright, guys. Probably not gonna see you uh, very soon because I'm gonna go to China. Why? Hello? Excuse me. 
Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Gladly. I want to smack him so bad. Can I smack him? I don't know. Might be really bad. I don't know. I'd, I'm not gonna do it. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But you can't expect me to tell you every detail of this company's operations every single day. We're at war here. And it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know, Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong? I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. What? Well, I never considered that. I'm sorry, son. 
I guess you have proved yourself today. Look, I'm not going to share every single detail of this, this data with alpha, you. beta, omega As shit CEO is some this bullshit. Company, there are I'll things I can't wish. release, even to you, Frank, or Athena. I consider us all a team here, but we each have our own roles to fill. I decide who gets trusted with what, and in this case, you're just going to have to do your job without knowing all the facts. Megan said you could roll with the punches. Prove she was right. Alpha, three, bingo. Boss, I really don't understand why you're giving me the runaround. When you hired me, I said I'd give you the best I could, but I can't protect us if you keep hamstringing my every move. If you won't level with me and tell me what it is you're hiding, then I'm out of here. Wow. I quit. Adam, Whoa! Adam, Adam, wait. God you can't damn. leave us. We need you. Now more than ever. All right. Boom. Look. The truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look. I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. All right. I'll be right back. Oh my god, I got a practice point for that, baby. I got a practice point for that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now I was about. Yes. There we go. Look at that. I kind of owned my boss, by the way. Now, I am not, in terms of personality, not intercontinent, not like uh, Jensen behave there, but with all that computer stuff, where you can know how it will impact people, I guess it could be uh, feasible. I had a friend at the Geneviu Labs from the test of the records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents or his birth parents that surprised me? The mother was sterile according to this I finally backtracked some of Marchie and Arthur Jensen's past. Through their medical files, Arthur Jensen had enough connections through his old Desert Storm buddies turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost, but he couldn't hide Marchie's records. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then-employer White Helix Labs to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs burned down, all its files and employment records were lost, and the Jensen's stayed invisible mostly. Here's the thing, one minute Adam doesn't exist, and the next, the Jensen's have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. That's when they pull their vanishing act. So in a hunch, I sniffed out around some more, and sure enough, the Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies. But Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There's no real trail saying how he was placed in their hands. Wow, that this this fishy. I found Adam Jensen's psych evaluation following that SWAT incident with the augmented team. That was the one that the um, police 
officer also talked about. I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it, at least not yet. I'll be honest with you, the psych eval doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain of command, anger management issues, and potential PTSD. Here's the thing, when you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between the lines, so here it is. The evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed off superior wanted Jensen off the force and had the evaluation worded to read like uh, just cause. But most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen. They thought he was a real straight shooter even though the SWAT incident sourced uh, or soared his reputation a little. Still, even my source liked him enough to want me to keep his psychic eval buried. That, that is, that is, um, stuff to think